Now Surf's Up, on the outside, looks like the least interesting thing ever. You see the penguins, you see the surfboards, and you go, Oh no, it's another generic kids movie. And you wouldn't exactly be wrong, it's a generic kids movie, but in the most unique way possible. I know that sounds contradictory, but let me explain. First, here's the plot. I mean, you've all heard this story. Cody, our underdog, is doubted and shunned in a small little town for doing what he does. So then he leaves to follow his dream, but it turns out he really sucks at it. So then he comes across this mentor who happens to be his hero that he thought was dead. Ooh, plot twist. And with that mentor's help, our main character Cody learns that maybe winning isn't everything. Ooh. Yup, yup, I can hear the groaning, but this is where it gets interesting. You see, this movie isn't formatted like a movie. It's more formatted like a documentary slash sports reality show. So of course there's fourth wall breaks, there's character interviews and all that, but also because of this, most of the dialogue in this movie is improvised. Characters overlap each other when talking, they stutter sometimes, they chuckle at their own jokes, it's great. It feels so natural. And trust me, it can lead to some of the most hilarious moments I've ever seen in animation. Oh crap. Well, then what are you standing here next to me for? Go talk to her, man. No, I'm not gonna talk to her. She's digging don't... on you, she Joe. called you crap. Joe. And also because the dialogue feels more natural, so do the characters. For example, our underdog Cody isn't the generic underdog, you know, the modest, soft-spoken, never mean towards anyone kind of guy. You know, he has some full of himself moments. He has some bratty moments sometimes. He has some moments where you want to smack him in the head. He's just him. He's a character. Go try it out. That's what I'm. Maybe I will. Yeah. Huh? Piece of junk. Watch. Oh, that was. Nice ride, man. And the same can be said for Lonnie, the love interest, who isn't just the love interest. She has her passive-aggressive and real moments instead of being just a girl. And Big Z isn't some grouchy mentor, he's just a dude, a very chill dude. I mean, I gotta say, these are the most human penguins I think I've ever seen. And come on, how many animated movies can you say has Napoleon Dynamite as a stoner chicken? Now you've probably noticed that animation-wise, this movie looks surprisingly good. The beaches are lush and vibrant, the characters are all extremely well-designed, Designed. And the water? Oh man, especially the water looks incredible, even by today's standards. And you'll be pretty astounded to find that this movie came out in 2007, the same year as Meet the Robinsons and B-Movie, when CG wasn't looking so hot. So the fact that not only does it look incredible for its time, but that it also holds up today, is really impressive. But unfortunately, even this movie isn't free of problems. While I did give props to the improv and how natural they made the movie sound, which it did, it still has its issues. There are some awkward pauses, some awkward stuttering, some scenes feel like they take too long, it feels like there's filler. And then there's the main antagonist of the film, Tank Evans. Now don't get me wrong, I love Diedrich Bader, he's an incredible voice actor, but he's just trying way too hard as Tank. He is the textbook definition of the generic goofball villain who is super skilled at something but is secretly a loser that still lives with his mom. He just feels like an out of place cartoon character in a world where everyone else acts so naturally. Say that one more time. Leah. Oh, yeah. That's a sweet, sweet lady. Tank, are you uh, polishing your trophies again? I, I, Mom, I, I wasn't polishing. I was talking to my friends. Now, you could make the same argument for Chicken Joe since he's another comedic relief, but I know quite a few people in real life who act exactly like Chicken Joe. He's not that far off from reality where I have never even seen anyone act remotely close to Tank. But yeah, while this movie does seem to have all the positives that comes out of relying on improv, it also has a lot of the negatives as well. Overall though, I say Surf's Up is a very unique experience. Yes, the plot is generic and there are a couple out of place characters, but I think the stunning visuals, fantastic humor, and interesting format more than make up for it. So in my opinion, Surf's Up gets a B plus. And I hope the camera's rolling, because you're gonna wanna watch it over and over and over and over again. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs>